Well, turning now to families in one southwest Detroit neighborhood who could see some big changes soon. It's all after reaching an agreement with the Ambassador Bridge and the company's effort to expand the Ambassador Bridge Plaza in that area. Now, some of the communities say this agreement is giving them a chance at making some quality of life changes considering the circumstances. We are a neighborhood of almost 2,000 people. There's a big reason some folks call the Hubbard Richard neighborhood in southwest Detroit among the jewels in the city. There are almost 900 people that live on this side of the bridge. And one of the noticeable arteries in this area is the Ambassador Bridge. Its expansion over time has been a source of concern for some neighbors. For a long time, they have sought to close city streets, to uh, buy up houses, and then they sit vacant. Sam Butler is president of the Hubbard Richard Resident Association. This week, the city of Detroit and the association announced they've entered a new community agreement with the Ambassador Bridge as it looks to expand the Ambassador Bridge Plaza. What we're talking about is uh, they want to actually wall off this church parking lot right over here. Under the agreement, the Ambassador Bridge will be donating 10 of the properties it owns in this area to the Hubbard Richard neighborhood. It'll give property to the city that would benefit the Roberto Clemente Rec Center. Demolition of the old Greyhound building on West Fort Street is part of the plan, including donating a large portion of that property to the Hubbard Richard neighborhood for non-industrial development. With some of the new property that we get, we're very interested in can we plant more trees? Can we revitalize them into affordable housing? With this new plan, the Hubbard Richard Resident Association is also agreeing to the Ambassador Bridge Plaza expansion in certain areas and its design features, including lighting, buffers and sidewalks. Raymond Lozano is executive director of Mexican Town Community Development Corporation. It's good to recognize that maybe one segment is uh, recognizing the value of neighborhoods in the community and doing something positive to, to help out. Neighbors in this area say the new agreement comes after more than a year of discussions and community meetings. Well, moving forward, the Ambassador Bridge will be working with Detroit and the city to obtain approvals and approvals from city council to give the official green light on that agreement.